Hi everyone! Alright, this is a nice, quick and easy um, tutorial on how to paint a tiger face. First colour you're going to need is yellow. I'm using Grimace, but you can grab any uh, brand of face paint, it doesn't matter. And load up on a round sponge. What we're going to do is put this colour all over your face, but you're going to leave the areas above your eyes and your top lip free. I find it's easiest if you start off on the forehead, and then just work the paint around the sides of the face, and down the nose, and then fill in all the other parts. Alright, so our yellow's on, we've left the eyelids and the top lip free. Next we're going to take an orange colour, um, again on a round sponge, and we're just going to do some shading around the, um, around the cheekbones. So just dabbing the paint on, I find it easier to stipple when you're trying to blend two colours together. So press it on where you want, right underneath your cheekbones, where it would be dark in the shadow, and also into your temples. Some underneath the jaw area. And then finally, we're going to start on the corner of our eyebrow and bring the colour up at a 45 degree angle till it hits our hairline, just blending it in as we go. And then do the same on the other side. Okay, the final colour we're going to use for our base is white. I'm using Diamond FX and this time I'm using it on half a sponge. Um, I've just loaded up the tip and we're going to create the cat's eye shape. So start right in the corner of the eyelid, press the colour in over the lid, so it looks like that. And then you're going to use your sponge and shape it above the eyebrow. And it's sort of going to be in a, it's like a slanted triangle shape that you want. And then still with our white, we're going to fill in the area above the top lip. So that's our base done. Next, we're going to take a number three round brush and some black diamond effects paint. And we're going to start our line work. Now the first line that we're going to do sweeps over the eye, starts right in the corner cuts through the eyebrow and then it cuts right through the middle of the white area. So make sure there's quite a lot of paint on your brush, make sure it's nice and wet. And then place your brush down right in the corner of your eye, almost to the side of your nose. Press very lightly and then as you get to the eyebrow, press down hard and then once you've cut through, just flick it up on the end. Next we're going to do some of the markings on the forehead. Take your brush and you want to place it down slightly off centre at an angle, wiggle it downwards and then you want to flick up and bring your stripe so that it's pointed towards the top of your nose. And then do one next to it in the opposite direction. We're going to do our next one slightly higher, so more into the hairline, but exactly the same technique. Press it down wiggle it along and then flick up. It helps if you twist your brush slightly as you bring it off the face. It helps you get the nice point at the end. And we're going to add some C-shaped markings. Just basically a double stripe. and then some little ones. I'm also going to add a little extra bit to these two stripes in the middle. Um, I don't know why, it just doesn't look quite right to me, so I'm just going to add an extra line. That's better. Then we're going to do the stripes down the side of the cheek. What you're going to do is lay your brush down and wiggle it downwards towards your jaw and then turn around, change direction and flick it up towards this area again. And do another one slightly below that.
I'm going to add another little C-shaped stripe in the middle on each side. And another smaller one just under the eye. So that's your tiger markings done. Um, if you want to, you can carry on and add a few more around here, maybe some more up here, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, next job is take your brush and you're going to just paint in your tiger nose. To do this, it's just a small U, like that, right underneath the tip of your nose. And then you're going to start on the little edge and just round it out. Then place your brush down right in the corner of your mouth to create like a, a sad mouth sort of shape. And then starting on the tip of the line, you're going to flick it up and outline the white muzzle area. Then you want to paint a really thin line starting underneath the nose, bring it all the way down and through the top lip. And then where this line cuts through the top lip, you just want to round out the edges. Okay, now take your brush and just place some random sized dots in the lower corners of the muzzle. I think it looks nice if you try and get the dots all different sizes. It's a bit more interesting and also it's a lot easier to get them all different than it is to make them all the same. So our whisker dots are done and then we're going to do some more dots right in the corner of the eye. And I'm also going to put some in the outer corners of the eye. And then the last step is to change to white and you're just going to place a little blob on top of the black points that you've um, painted. They still want to have a black outline though. And that's it. Our tiger face is finished. I hope you like it. Um, as a final step, if you wanted to, you could fill in the bottom lip. You could use red or you could do black, whatever you wanted. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think there's enough going on on the face without painting that in as well. And also, if you paint in the bottom lip, when, they, um, when the child has a drink or has something to eat, it will smudge downwards. So if you can leave it blank, then the face tends to look better for longer. But it's entirely up to you. Um, I'll put some pictures up at the end so you can have a closer look. And yeah, hope you like it. Thanks.